YouTube, what is good? Benny Matthews here. Thanks for checking out the channel, man. Lock a gang, where you at, man? Lock a gang, lock a gang. Go ahead and hit the like button for your boy, man, because today I got one of my loyal subscribers, one of my loyal lockers out there asking me a question. And uh, instead of me just privately, you know, answering him, I thought this was a really good question. I just wanted to make a video of that. So I'm replying to his question in today's video. Let's check out the question. He asks, yo, I don't think I have enough dreads in my head. I have about 30 to 40 and not really dreads yet, but I just started my cone coils. You think I should redo and ask for more? Because apparently coils thicken up at the end. That's a very, very good question, man. And we're gonna tackle that. We're gonna answer that right here, right now, right after the intro. But before that, I gotta ask you guys a question. Did you hit the like button yet? Go ahead, I, go ahead, be honest, be honest. Did you hit the like button yet? No? It's the perfect opportunity for you to do that right now. Go ahead and hit the like button, man, because after the intro, we getting right into it. Hit the like button, it really helps out the channel. I appreciate all you guys, my lockers. Thanks for hitting the like button. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you don't already know, my name is Vinny Matthews, man. Put the lock emoji in the comment box down below. Let's get right into it, man. So, as you guys see, um, let's check out his locks right now. Yes, sir, man. These locks is nice and thick, man. I love them, man. Yeah, you can definitely tell that he's had these locks in probably like a good, you know, week or two because they're definitely starting to form in, man. And um, his question is, yo, basically, uh, he says, done them too thick as well. I want them to be the same size as yours. And I was like, all right, man. So I asked him, you know, can I make a video off this? And he says, okay, so um, let me give you my honest opinion, man. So um, first off, we have to understand, like, yo, nobody's locks is going to look like mine, okay? My locks aren't going to look like yours. Yours are not going to look like mine. Yo, your locks are yours for a certain reason. They're going to look a certain way because they are your locks so so with that being said it's flattering that you guys want your locks to look like mine but understand like yo it's, it's not it's not going to happen now you can try to get there but it's never going to be so like right now like the way that his locks are yo, his locks is nice it's nice and thick the way that his locks are is about like how thick my locks are right now okay but my locks are in two strand twists now now when it comes to your locks, especially during the beginning stage of your locks, you have to be well aware of how big or how small you want your locks are. So that's something that you yourself need to articulate to your loctician. You know, whether you're going to a professional or whether you're going to, you know, someone who knows how to do locks, you need to make that very clear and you need to be well aware of how, how big or how small you want your locks to be. Do you want your, how do you want your parts to be? Do you want your parts to be in rectangles, triangles, diamonds? You guys gotta, you know, you guys gotta let this be known, you know, because basically you're giving them the permission to do whatever they want to your locks to begin your lock journey. Now, you know, definitely the lock test, they know what they're talking about. Now, as far as me goes, you know, when I started out my locks, I started out with two strand twists and I started out with really teeny tiny two strand twists, okay? This is why my dreadlocks are small right now. I have about, mm, I'm gonna say like 90 ish locks now. That's a lot of locks, all right? You know, so for me personally, man, if I had to go back in time, I would want thicker locks. Let me explain. So with smaller locks, man, it's like you're getting like sister lock or brother locks, you know, the really micro teeny tiny locks. And, um, you know, at a point in time, I felt like I had sister locks because my, my locks were so small, but in the, in the future, it caused like so many problems, man. Like a lot of my locks were thinning, you know, especially from the sides and the edges, man. A lot of my locks were thinning and I was always asking myself, like, why is this happening to my locks, man? It's because I had such a small foundation. And depending on the type of your hair and the size of your head, you know, it can really determine, you know, how your dreadlocks are really going to come out, you know? So, um... The woman who did my hair was my mother and she didn't know anything about locks. She didn't understand, you know, like I need a, a big, bigger, strong foundation for my locks in order to uphold. This is one of the reasons why I cut off my locks personally. My locks used to be a lot longer, but you know, they started thinning out. You know, it could be due to stress. It could be due to, you know, my, my locks just didn't have a strong foundation to hold such longer dreadlocks. 
These are a lot of things that I just didn't put into consideration when I started growing my locks. So for you, my brother, you're asking me, should you redo your locks? Yo, it's, it's really on to you, you know? I'm just trying to get you to understand there's both sides of the field. I personally love thicker locks, you know? I really do because, yo, they're more for the long run, you know? If you really do want your locks to be nice and long and strong, yo, thicker locks are the way to go. Your locks, what you got on right now, looks perfect, okay? But I get it. You want your locks to look a certain way. And if you want your locks to be smaller, then yes, you have to take out your locks and you have to redo the process. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is, you know, whoever done your locks, man, they apparently know what they're doing, you know? They gave you nice comb coils and they gave you a nice thick foundation. You're gonna appreciate that a lot more in the end, man, because I've never heard somebody, you know, complain that their locks was just too thick. Now, actually, I, that's cap. You know, I have heard people say their locks are too thick. But, like I said, in the end of the day, I never heard them talk about, you know, their locks falling off. I always hear people with small dreads or micro locks that their locks are always falling off because they don't have enough strong enough foundation, man. And I just don't want you to go through that, you know. You guys can learn from me from my lock journey. I love telling you guys about my lock journey because none of you guys have to repeat the mistakes that I did. So for you, Playboy, yo, I would just keep those locks, man. You already at the journey, man. You already begun, but I understand, like, these are your locks. I can't really tell you what to do with your locks, you know? Um, I can only tell you if it was for me, yo, you got something going on, man. I would stick with it. I would stick with those locks, man, and just keep going with the journey and enjoy the journey. But, you know, if you say, you know, 30 to 40 locks, man, it's, like I said, it's probably right for your head. You know, I don't know if you have a big head or a small head, but, you know, if you have a bigger head, man, <laughs> with bigger locks, man, it, it, it's, it's going to fit you right. But if you got a big head and little locks, people can see your big ass head, you know? You don't want that, but, um, as far as I go, man, as far as me telling you what to do, I, I can't tell you what to do, brother. But what I can do is encourage you to, you know, think about both sides, you know, think about one side. If you get smaller locks, you know, there are some locticians out there who, who will charge you by the amount of locks that you have. That's real. That's real. I remember I, I had somebody was like, oh, how many locks do I have? I, 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 I had somebody ask me, y'all, how many locks you have? Because I wanted her to do my hair. She was like, 90 locks? I'm gonna be doing your hair forever. You gotta pay me the money, huh? But if you have about 30, 40 locks, man, you go to a loctician, you in and you out, Playboy, man. It's, it, yo, it's only gonna take you a good hour to get your locks retwisted. And that's one thing that I do love. And that's one thing you have to consider as well. The longer your locks are and the more quantity and the more number of locks that you do have, it's going to take more time, man. And what I tell you guys, you're either spending money or time or the combination of both. I hate wasting my time getting my hair done. I really do, man. So if it was for me, like I prefer thicker locks, you know, because I've been there and done that. If I can go back, I would definitely get thicker locks, but my locks right now, I learned how to maintain them. I learned how to properly take care of them. And because of that, I'm able to have a great fulfilling lock journey. But in the end of the day, man, it really all depends on what you wanna do, man. Either way, you got locks, man. Locker gang, locker gang. You're a part of the locker gang community, man. But I don't know, man. Like I said, it really depends on you. And whatever you do, just be for sure that, yo, this is what I really want because, yo, these are gonna be your locks for the long run. If you want your locks to be long, if you know this is what you really want, yo, you, you have to plan now. Right now is where you have to make your decision. Right here, right now. And I hope that you make the best decision for you. And shout out to you, man, because you coming all the way out from UK. I appreciate you reaching out to the Locker Gang community. Man, the Locker Gang, man, we global, man. I, yo, we, we global out here, man. And with all that being said, man, to all my lockers out there, let me know in the comment box down below, man. What would you do if you was in his scenario, in his, situ his situation? What exactly would you do for your locks, okay? Let me know in the comment box down below, man. This is a community of all lockers, man. This is what we do, man. We help each other out, man. We support each other, okay? So with all that being said, man, don't forget to hit the like button. My name is Vinny Matthews, everybody. And until the next video, I'm out.